Which of the following strategies is best suited to reinforce a conceptual understanding of solving systems of linear equations by elimination? So the correct answer choice here is C. That is our correct answer choice. And I'll tell you why. When we take a look at answer choice A, providing multiple problems at least five for students to practice in class, that's great. But that will reinforce a procedural understanding, the process of learning how to solve equations, that doesn't exactly reinforce the understanding of systems of equations as a whole. So we want to go ahead and just eliminate A there. Taking a look at B, have students plug answers back in to check their work. Again, that will help them reaffirm their procedure, reaffirm their, the correctness of their process. Again, that doesn't exactly help them understand the, the meaning of systems of equations. When we think about systems of equations, that's broken down into three main subcategories. We can solve systems by graphing, by elimination, and by substitution. Knowing the relationship between all three of these, knowing that a system of equation, it, when it's solved, it's basically a coordinate on the graph relating elimination and substitution to graphing, that's the conceptual understanding that we want to build within our students in this concept. And so that's why B is incorrect and C is correct. When we take a look at D, conduct activities where students analyze errors in another student's work, that's a great activity to use for students who are generally struggling in solving systems of equations because they'll better understand the process and better uh, understand the procedure in there and they'll go ahead and be more confident in that sense. But in terms of building a conceptual understanding, relating different concepts together and tying them all in, C is the best choice.